So, um, you're joining me here in a roofoid. Um, I'm here to undertake a survey of the roof space on behalf of our client who is the property owner. Uh, they purchased the property a number of years ago and at the time of purchase they were led to believe that the insulation within the roof um, was a little bit low. So they had that topped up by a, uh, a local building contractor who installed an additional 100mm of insulation um, over the ceiling structure. Uh, the builder at the time actually and push the insulation right into the eaves of the roof. So then they were told that this had compromised ventilation into the roof space as the air previously migrating the roof via the eaves. So to counteract that, they were then told to install um, a number of <coughs> towel vents in the roof covering um, at the rear, two at low level and two at high level to bring air back into the roof void. Now, they didn't install any towel vents in the front elevation of the building because the building is listed uh, and installing vents at the front would have required planning permission which they didn't want to see so just installed them at the rear and thought they would monitor the conditions in the roof void um, recently as the weather started to get cold they've been up into the roof space to have a little look and they've started to see some evidence of condensation so they've employed me in order to carry out a survey and investigate this a little bit further so i'm just gonna pan around the roof void really just let you have out this is um, a truss rafter construction uh, the uh, roof space is boarded out with 100mm of uh, fiberglass insulation upon the boarding and an additional roughly 150-200mm within the ceiling cavity. Um, we do have uh, a bitumen membrane and if you can just see on the spars there, there is some darkening of the spars, um, where, particularly where these meet the membrane, where there is evidence to suggest that condensation does form. And also in this region over here, you can see some white staining upon the underside of the uh, bitumen membrane again another symptom to suggest that condensation forms within the roof but what i wanted to show you here um was the difference in moisture content so i'm just going to put my moisture meter here in the spars at the rear at the top and they're reading about 20 21 percent in fact i've had roughly between 20 and 22 percent of these spars now this is the front elevation of the building and we're just going to test the front and you can see we're 16 percent there and just 17 percent there so there is a difference in moisture content between the spars at the rear and the spars at the front and i just want to show you this here so i've got my trusty hygrometer and we're just going to take a temperature at the membrane at the rear that's 10 degrees I'm a little bit close to the light bulb there because <laughs> it is 10 degrees. I've already checked it. Uh, we are 10 degrees at the rear, and I'll just test um, the front. And the front there is 15.8. Um, so there is a difference in temperature between the membrane on the front and the membrane at the rear. And that difference in moisture content and temperature is actually caused by this. You can see that there the orientation of the building see the building is south facing so the front elevation of the building gets all the sun the rear gets no sun at all which means it's the coldest elevation of the building and as such the most at risk of condensate due to its low temperature um, and all the indications within the roof void um, suggest that the roof space itself does become problematic with condensate forming upon the membrane now primary reasons for that um, really are orientation and um, the level of ventilation in the roof space just installing towel vents at the front at the rear sorry is not sufficient we need to get through ventilation so we do need to apply for planning permission and get additional vents installed in the front elevation roof covering uh, we also need to lift the towel vents up the towel vents at low level are sat almost in the, in the insulation so uh, what they do is they have a cooling effect upon the ceilings where the air is brought into the roof void so that needs amending but i just thought i'd show you that because it was interesting Peace